to this gathering. I'm very grateful to uh, uh, Mr. Whitman for organizing this. I, it's a very happy occasion for me um, to have you here and to know that you're interested in this subject because um, unless there's somebody interested in this, there's no point discovering it. <laughs> I know there are lots of interested people reading the book, but doing it is still something else. And that's why I'm here, to help you do it. And so thank you very much for coming. And I want to get right into it, plunge right into it. And the first thing I want to tell you is that I'm using a new technology. And that's why these discoveries have been possible. The new technology is a bit of radio technology called an audio oscillator. Every radio uses one, and it creates some magic in the field of radio, because the station that is broadcasting has its own frequency. But then, when you're singing or talking, you create another frequency, and the magic is that the small frequency can ride on top of the high frequency. They can ride together. And all you have to do when you're set at home is separate those two again. They were fused initially in the audio oscillator, and then you separate them. And that's what we're doing when we're using an audio oscillator uh, of a very simple design, such as you can get in, in this children's kit. You don't have to be able to solder to put this together. And anybody can do it. I think the age maybe starts at around 8 or 10. So you can make yourself one of these devices and, and when you attach that to the frequencies your body makes, and then this instrument is like the station frequency. So you've got a station frequency of 1,000 hertz per second and your body's frequency of we don't know yet what the frequencies of our organs are. I've only figured it out a couple. But we don't need to know. All we have to do is fuse them. And there is a box that you build, that you can build yourself in a Kleenex box. You don't need anything fancy. And on that box, there will be two large plates called plate, the plates. And if you put the item, that you want frequency of, on that plate, you've got it. You don't have to know it as long as the device knows it. So the first time I ever discovered that, I had just gotten some beef liver out of the grocery store and put it on one of those plates. And lo and behold, it it did ride on top of the device frequency, and I could hear it. Just the way you can hear a person singing in New York, in faraway places, through a radio. So I'd like people to uh, build this, try it, and then get some help with it if you need help. There are, of course, anybody can build a little box, a little black box with that circuit inside it, and you can buy that. But I can't tell you where to buy it. <laughs> You're allowed to ask. <laughs> You're just not allowed to tell. <laughs> some of you got together, uh, you would be able to find out without me telling you. Where do you go for all your information these days? <laughs> I don't have to tell you. Now the next thing I want you to know is 
uh, is that there is a new item in your handout, and you should have a handout called 10 New Concepts. I came here to tell you about a new concept. It's the 10th one. At the last conference, it was mine. Look at the back page, very back page. It's called the New Dental Challenge. But I'm not going to talk about that today. I'm going to talk about parasitology today. However, if you have any dental friends, um, this would be something quite interesting to, for them and maybe much more interesting even to you because we have a new way to get your health back. Something unimaginable, unexpected, <laughs> and, and fairly straightforward and simple to do. Uh, on, on the inside page of that, page 12, You need to know that, oh, about a year and a half ago, I had discovered what our real cancer causer was. Uh, it's the cancer causer for uh, mammals so far, uh, dogs, cats, horses, and other mammals. So, if there was anybody who heard uh, the horse story. Is there anybody here who heard the horse story? Just raise your hand if you heard the horse story. Okay. Uh, a, 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 a half a year ago or so at the last expo, I described uh, a horse with cancer. And I didn't know the outcome because I had just uh, done the investigation on it. And I check to see if all the same things are there as I had found for others so that I know that horses are included in, this, in the causation and of course the cure. And I did find that it was all very similar and therefore we used a new technique all this is background to what I'm going to talk about, which is parasitology. <coughs> now, if you take a look at that real carcinogen, you'll see it's, uh, it's a diagram. You've got four circles there and things attached to the circles. The, we all thought, um, probably for thousands of years, that cancer was caused by something not some things. We all thought that maybe it's benzene, maybe it's PCBs, maybe it's estrogen, maybe it's, it's something. And none of us ever could imagine that it's this long thing that you see in that diagram. And I think that's why it got missed for such a long time. We have very astute scientists working at NIH, but nobody would ever imagine such a thing. So if you don't imagine it, you can't begin to test for it. So you see on the left side, um, one of the most radioactively uh, destructive elements that there are. Uh, it's called polonium. Polonium was proved maybe 20 years ago to be the cause of lung cancer, but I don't think they ever settled the issues on whether it was the only one and how it worked and so on because the research was stopped. We tend to stop funding. Uh, the funding agencies tend to stop funding on anything that is applied or, I guess, really productive. For reasons I don't understand. In order to understand the importance of polonium, could you please go to a different page here, the one that has the table of elements on it. Page 8 says 
periodic table of elements. It starts there at the upper left with hydrogen, which is very, very light. It's a gas, it's so light. But down at the bottom, uh, all the elements get heavier and heavier and heavier. One by one, they're organized that way. And you see at the very bottom uh, a row called lanthanides, and below that a row of actinides, which are radioactive. But before that, uh, at the right end where it says PO, can you find that one? That's polonium. So you know it's extremely heavy, and it's also uh, radioactive, and there's radon just two, uh, two columns away that are N, and you'll see radium not too far away from that, that's, that's on the next row, and then francium and actinium, these are all our radioactive elements. But polonium is the most destructive because when it breaks down, you know, the, the feature of radioactivity is just that they break down. They're so heavy they can't support their own weight, so to speak, and they break off little pieces. And those little pieces are radioactive too. And, and polonium is very, very highly charged. Most of these things are, uh, are highly charged, either plus or minus, and that's how chemistry works, by these charges reacting with each other. So the polonium is so destructive because it uh, forces its way through your tissue like a bulldozer, and it's extremely positively charged, so it's going to attract all the negative charges it comes into contact with, and that upsets your chemistry, and, your, and things don't work anymore after that. Um, so because it's so destructive, you can see that at work in the lungs or, or wherever it happens to be, because it cuts its way right through anything, uh, right through your chromosomes. There are no, no respect for chromosomes or genes. Cuts its way right through, sometimes halfway, and that's called a chromatid, uh, and sometimes all the way. But, you know, cancer is a disease of mutations, not just mutations but in all cancers, that's one of its features, that it shows the effect of, of mutations, but what causes the mutations hasn't been settled on. Well, here is the cause, polonium. Cuts right through your chromosomes, leaves them lying all over, the, all over your tissues, and then how can they make the proper chemicals? 